Hey, what's going on, everyone? And welcome back to another great epic episode of Just My Opinion Reviews. Guys, we are talking Dragon Ball Daima episode two, title Glorio. Guys, this is going to be spoil spoilers. Me and my guests are going to spoil this episode up, down, left, right, in and out, as if you've already seen it. And if you are feeling all the energy that me and one take big dog has for you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, not only on my channel, but his channel as well. And follow us on social media. His information is in the description box of this video. One take, how are you, sir? Let the people know how you doing over there in Louisiana. Man, I'm doing good, man. I'm a little tired. We had uh, my college home coming today. A little tired, but uh, I ain't never too tired to talk some Dragon Ball, man. Already, man. I, I sure do appreciate you coming through, man. And uh, I love the first episode of Dragon yeah. Ball Dynamite. It was fire. I loved it, loved it, loved it. Me and you did a recount for it as well. And so, uh, guys, go ahead and check that out. I also have my uh, reaction right here just with me doing solo, but I had to come through and chop it up with you. I want to say, man, that they two for two. You know, yeah. the, the first episode was great. Second episode is even better. And they are not wasting no time, man. Dragon Ball is known for its filler. It's, it's You love it, but you hate it. But I don't even feel that way at all, man. They are really getting to the nitty gritty. And to give you an example of what I'm talking about specifically, when Goku went over to Korin and then went to Master Roshi so he can get the power pole, Master Roshi, where is the power pole? Karen told me you had it. And they looking around for just a brief second to show a shot of it hanging up the laundry. And then, the and then after that, they didn't show... Goku and Roshi looking for it anymore. They showed the quick turtle with his little funny face. And then the next shot, we see Goku back at the Capsule Corporation, just twirling it around, doing his thing, showing all of his skills. I just really like that right there to where they just, they, they get into it. There's, there's, there's no filler. There's, there's no fluff or anything like that. I mean, there's a ton of things that we can talk about, but that just stood out to me uh so far but how you feeling about the episode the season so far you know is it holding up is it meeting your expectations where you at on this episode man to me it did just bring me a bunch of joy a lot of stuff kind of reminds me like i said of uh, og dragon ball i enjoy that but uh seeing go get the power pole back we knew we knew from like the trailers and everything he was gonna get it it just was like and once again this was another call back to dragon ball the power pole being like used to like uh hang laundry that's kind of a callback to if you i know you haven't seen dragon ball but there's an episode that in which uh the ox king Chi's daddy their their mountain in which they live on is on fire and there is a tool uh the the, the i think it's called the bancho is it it might be called the bancho fan or something like that that could brought a fire out mm -hmm. master roshi Ma master roshi lost it so it's like it's it just well, another one of those things called back to like that that kind of like funny quirkiness. Also, Goku for somebody who has like hasn't picked up the power pole in years, he is still on point with that joint. Like no, like he had Mr. B. Yeah, yeah. I can't I can't wait to see it, man. Because like I said, I haven't just sat down and watched Dragon Ball yet. I am, I am. May do some re reviews, recaps, reactions to that. But I'm just not used to seeing Goku with the power pole unless it was at the very, very beginning of Dragon Ball Z. And I saw that back in elementary school. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I ain't, I ain't went back. But what I also like about this is, like, I, well, I talked about them not wasting any time. But them just giving an explana explanation to everything, making sure that there are no plot holes or anything like that. Because, you know, I like the fact that, what's his name? King Goma. He tried to do three wishes, yeah. but Enron was like, oh, no, player, I don't know you. You know what I'm saying? This is for the VIP over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey. you ain't even from this universe. You think you could just, first of all, you woke me up from my nap. You know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to be asleep for a year. And yeah. then you go, your God never over here that's waking me up. And then you're trying to be greedy with three wishes. No, sir. No, sir. So I like that as far as the story is concerned, because that just gives everybody involved more of a challenge. You know, the Z fighters got their challenge, but, you know, King Goma and his crew, they just can't come in here just wrecking shop, making wishes, getting the, the demon third eye and doing all this, doing all that. So 
I when they had the opening scene and then they went to break, you know, they had the Dragon Ball Dharma intro. I was like, you know what? I hopefully they cover this because if never can just call on the Dragon Balls, yeah. um, he won't and just revive them. So what if Shinron can't give you three wishes? You can just have him revive it again and make another wish. You got infinity wishes, but I like that they took care of that as far as the plot is concerned. He was like, man, I can't even do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need a break. And so that's just cool right there. And that he could not, he couldn't go get the Dragon Balls from the Demon World. He's like, yeah, I, I, we got to fight my creation, you know, and it's too powerful. So they just kind of stuck right there. Are you feeling, are you feeling me or do you feel the same or do you look at it a different way? No, no, I actually, I, I love that. That was probably one of my favorite parts of the episode. Like, and, and even though it like pretty much starts off the entire episode, it's just so hilarious to think about that. Sharon was like, I don't know y'all. <laughs> like, I do that. I do that for my people, for my yeah. folks. I don't know y'all like that. Sorry, no, that's, that's not how this work. I'm out of here. Oh, yeah. They could have now. What they could they could have easily said. Now this is why I think Akira Toriyama just has that that comedy, that sense of humor. He could have easily said, "Well, if you were if you call Shinron back before the years of he can't, uh, he's not as powerful, or can't grant as many wishes." They're like, "Nah, nah, we gonna make this funny. We gonna like, we gonna give people something to talk about." I, like, like I said, that was one of my favorite parts of the episode. I loved it. I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, yeah, me too, man. Um, and also, just you know, the explanation that uh, Mister Popo gave us: Hey, this um. You know, this strange man took them away. They wished everybody to be kids. Uh, they 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 uh, kidnapped Dende, you know, and it, it's just in, and also the real the realization of Kaioshin, like, oh man, they come they came from the demon world, and mm -hmm. his name is Gesu. This has to be my brother. And then when they when Popo dropped the name of Never, the way that Piccolo reacted, like, oh man, I ain't never heard of, I mean, I ain't never met him before, but I heard that he did this and this, you know what I'm saying? And so that's just answering all these questions, um, you know, that us as audience members of fans are wanting to be answered, and they're just not wasting any time. Get straight to it. I know you just said that was your favorite part, but, like, what was another part of the episode that stood out to you that was just, like, you know, freaking badass that you loved it and you just can't wait to talk about it, if anything? There was, there was kids. Just seeing all of them as kids. I, I mean, obviously, we know that was going to be, like, one of the main uh, storylines. Of, uh, of the show, but it's not even that they're necessarily kids. Like Krillin said, they're like miniature. You know what I'm right. saying? They still right. all have, they still have the same senses. You even seen that with like Trunks and Goten as babies, they still have the same senses. It's just they they're pretty much miniature. Seeing, I love Krillin. For a minute, I thought Master Roshi was Krillin. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, they. I'm like, where? I'm like, the, then I'm like, I'm like, where are the dots? I'm like, Krillin always had the, uh, the six right. dots on his head. Oh, I know that that's Roshi. Oh wow, he's gonna be a problem. Hercule, who I've never liked, he looked yeah. like the most normal person out of everybody. It's yeah. just, dude, to be it just I hate to say it, but it looked cute. <laughs> it looked, <laughs> what it looked like, you're like you guys, you guys are adorable. Them having to and just go back to Goku getting like the uh, the power pole. Um, him having to one remember how to fly. Because like your your body weight's different. These guys have trained years, you know what I'm saying, to like master stuff. But like now you have to relearn stuff. And him, the re the the reason that he gets the power forward, like okay, I don't, I can't measure my range like I want to. So with the to to to, to compensate for that, we got my power forward. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? it just hilarious. Boma and Chi Chi loving looking young again. It, it's just so comical, bro. It, it, it's just so much fun, but at the same time, it's like, okay, this is still a, this is a, it's a real situation because it's like, okay, we can't, we can't, we can't start like this forever. And yeah. I just love, I love Bulma. Bulma is probably one of the greatest female characters in all of anime. Okay, absolute genius. I don't know what we wouldn't have Dragon Ball if it was not for Bulma. Yeah, and this is another instance in where she has some technology. From I don't even know where, from a whole nother realm. And she's like, eh, okay, give me a couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> I get to work at work. I'm like, oh, you're fantastic, Bo. Yeah. And the way she was treating Kabito, like yeah. like basically like an Uber. Like yeah. that was hilarious. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, man. I, I got a little tickle out of that too, man. Cause it's like I'm not no just a little Aaron boy, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm dang near a guy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. On my name, you know, go go get it yourself, you know. Uh, it, it's it the, just about the show though, man. You have these normal civilians, these normal human beings, but they just rubbing elbows with like the gods of the universe, you know what I'm saying? And it ain't nothing to them, you know what I'm saying? Like it is that like, oh my god, you know, who are you? I mean, it may be like that at first, but you know, after a while, they're just like, oh, you're just the guy from around the corner. You know what I'm saying? What's up with, with, with your player? You know what I'm saying? You know, and it, it, it ain't no bowing or no respect or nothing like that. What's yeah. up with you? You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I, I really do like that, too. But again, you know, we know that these uh, Z fighters are extremely powerful. They can, they can power up just like that. But I was thinking going into this that, OK, they may not be able to just go all the way all out powering up to their max, but it should still be easy for them. But like you said, it's not. Goku has having a problem flying around mm -hmm. and I was talking trash like you don't have control of your center of gravity. And uh, do you mother effer? You know? mm -hmm. and, he's, and he tried and he was having issues, too. So when when Bulma said it's going to take 10 days to fix that just gives them reason to train. And when they they went for two days in the future and then just show Goku punching and kicking in the air, trying to get used to his new body. I like that, man. That could have been brushed over, or they could have wrote it a simple way of just saying, you know, they still know how to fight. But no, that's just, you know, Goku, dang, they're starting back at square one. You know, um, I, I, I really do like that, man. Um, this This show right now is seeming very, 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 very very promising what do you think about your boy glorio that popped up at the end is he somebody that we can trust or does he have nefarious plans up his sleeve one take what you think now uh, now trust no absolutely not i don't think he's i don't think he's bad i don't think he's a bad person but at the same time i think he's kind of he probably going to end up being one of those characters who he has an ulterior motive, you know what I'm saying? And it might not necessarily align with the Z Warriors, but it's probably something that's very important to him. He wants to get done, and he obviously he needs the Z Warriors' help to do it. Mm -hmm. But I also think, like, he was watching that video as well, so he sees an opportunity there. That's probably was something he's never been able to do, but, like, okay, these guys are turning into kids. Let me help them. They possibly help me. I get what I want. But I think whatever it is he wants is probably, like I said, going to go against something, the morals maybe as a Z fighters, and, and, and we're across that bit when we get to it. Like I said, I don't think he's bad. It's just like one of them people who's, who, it's just like the person who steals bread to feed that family. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I kind of feel like he's probably one of those people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So how you uh how you think uh Master Roshi gonna take advantage of his uh young body, man? He he been oh eight. My God. You know, we oh. met him. He gonna be knocking him down one take, he's gonna be going hey, to the club. You know he been old for a long, long, yeah. long time. He is about to be man, Roshi about to be freaked out. Hey, <laughs> he gonna turn coming house to the freak out house. Yeah. <laughs> like he he gonna be bringing. He gonna get that turtle to go get them women, bring them back to the crib. He gonna show up. He gonna show up. You seen him? He already getting prepared. Yeah, got the shades on. He, he looking clean. He gonna yeah. pop up. Yeah, he gonna pop up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, man, I want to say something. Doc said, "I wish they would have did that. I wish they would have gave him hair." I wish they would have gave him like some long. That would have been nice. Hair. He just like flowing in the wind. It just looked completely different. He mm -hmm. would have been showing out, man. Yeah, that would have that would have been nice. I would have um, I would have appreciated that too. Is this a picture of him? Oh no, that's uh, that's them looking at the monitor or whatever. Uh, yeah, that 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 would have been cool right there, man. Um, you know something else um uh, that I, I like uh how they're challenging the show is towards the end of this episode. The characters are separated for a good reason, too, uh, when they're going to the demon realm, demon realm, because they still could have been presented with a challenge if it was Goku, Glorio, Kaioshin, Piccolo, Vegeta, Kabito, Hercule, Krillin. But no, it's just Goku, 
Kaioshin and Glorio in one pod. And then Vegeta and them gonna have to catch up with them later. I I don't want when Vegeta and them pop up, I don't want Vegeta to pop up up on them right away. I want Goku and them to be on one side of the the, the demon realm and Vegeta and them on another side. And this has to be like a little struggle or challenge for them to get together. And that's where the true climax is. Just so things are just not that easy, you know. Are you feeling me? Am, is that, am, I, am I making sense? Or you want everything to be all hunky-dory and they in the group the whole time? So I, I get what you're saying. Now, I think Vegeta was correct. They had in their room for Vegeta to go. Oh, yeah. Like, they, they had in their room for Vegeta to go. I, that, that, now, that's kind of one of the things I'm like, I get it. We gonna, we gonna we have to separate the group. Those listen, it's to the point that in Dragon Ball, you kind of gotta you kind of gotta separate Goku and Vegeta. Don't don't they're they're, they're too too good together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? As much as they like fight individual, they're too good together. So I understand that. And it's gonna it's gonna this is gonna be good to get like some more stuff out of uh uh Shin. Some more stuff out of Glorio and just go cool explore them because I think in the, in, in the love, they give a brief like five second preview of the next episode. It's gonna see Goku just exploring something new, you know what I'm saying? And I, I think that's good. And then you bring Piccolo and Vegeta later. I think I think that's gonna be good as well. One, like I said, we haven't seen Vegeta fight, and and your 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 uh theory to like have them separated. And go through like their own little, little their little trials and before they can meet up, I think that would be good as well. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how long it would last. Maybe a couple episodes. I think I think that works for me. Or uh, you you dedicate some time because something I think that kind of not talked about is like Piccolo and Vegeta's relationship. They okay. they they like Vegeta. You know how Vegeta looks at everybody. Yeah, so I think he has a certain respect for Piccolo, and I think Piccolo has that same respect towards Vegeta. Now, just picture those two just, just a buddy. You know what I'm saying? They don't talk much, and when they do, if they say something that isn't important, you know, either Vegeta talking trash or Piccolo dropping some knowledge on it. Those two together in the demon realm, handling stuff. I think that would be pretty damn interesting. And then you got right. obviously Goku comical. Is hey on the other side with Gloria probably like this is the guy I got to help me? Like what the hell? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh you're right, man. I never even thought about that. So uh good observation. But uh let I, one of the things that you I know you like about the show, you talked about last our last recap for episode one is the lore and the story. Do you feel like they are retconning a lot of stuff that they did in the past with Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, specifically with the Namics? I don't think so. But they were at the table, and I think Vegeta is the one that asked, like, hey, so is everybody, th does everyone that has 20 years, are they from the demon realm? And Kyle Shin was like, no, nah, not necessarily, but most are. But we found out that that's originally where all of the Namek, the, the Mekians are from. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to be ruled, so they bounced, and uh, then, you know, found uh, a crib over in Namek, and I guess that's just where they've been this whole time. How do you feel about that? That that how that's the little story arc right there. Is it, is it making sense to you, or are you like, oh, this is an ass pull? See, I don't I don't think so. I don't think that's an ass pull. Now there's other stuff that has been like blatantly retcon, like like Kabito or Shin. That was retcon. You know what I'm saying? It didn't bother me. But you, think so. huh? you saying Kabito and Kyle Shin uh, and then fusing unfusing is red, a retcon? Yeah. Okay, keep going. No, I, I, I mean. The the not not them unfusing is a rare kind, but like the method in which they unfuse. Because in the in the manga, it says that they unfuse by asking uh the dragon or some or somebody after they completed something. That's how that's what was stated. But then this way we learned it was another way. But back to your the, to your point about the dynamics, that right there is just we never knew where the dynamics came from. Yeah. We never had any idea where the dynamics came from. And so them because there, there's some back to the to the lore. It said people were just able to leave the demon realm at the time. So it wasn't like it was a big deal that they left because it even said they were like good parts of the demon realm. I know it's called the demon realm, but they said it was good parts of the demon realm. And then they just don't have to leave. And then it's like, okay, too many people were leaving, so they cut it off. Like, okay, okay, y'all can't keep leaving the damn demon realm. Okay, we're gonna yeah. a lot of people. 
Uh, like, some, of, some of y'all got to stay here. So, yeah. the, so the fact that the, the Mekians came from there, I don't think I don't think that's bad at all. I think that's actually good. It gives us more lore to them than the Mekians. I think there's some more history we can even explore for them the Mekians who stay. We know never stay. Is there any other the Mekians who stay? Or the Mekians is more powerful in the demon realm? Or like there's a lot because we we have to know about did the Mekian was there the Mekian god who lived in the demon realm that created the super dragon ball? There's so much that you can still explore and and giving us this lore and this information about the Namis coming from the Demon Realm, you open that up to to explore and explain those things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got a question for you. Where the hell is Gohan, man? Where Gohan? I'm more studying right now. Man, so, it, remember, it, remember, remember, at this time, uh, it was after the Boo Saga, Gohan was probably getting ready to graduate. Go on, graduated and not soon, not not too far after became a professor. Yeah. I don't so, I don't I don't remember what happened to Gohan at the end of the Boo saga. I just know he was strong because he had the ultimate uh the ultimate uh power up or whatever, the ultimate yeah, Gohan. He's, right now he's the strongest person yeah. out of everybody. And and some people in my comments are like, well, he's a baby right now. Why would he be a baby? He he was a grown adult. Uh, at the end of the boost saga, so he's gonna be a little first grade size like everybody else. He ain't gonna be the size of Golden Trunks. He and he was an adult, right? No, Gohan was gone still in high school, wasn't he? Yeah, Gohan was still in high school. Gohan was uh, he had, uh, he had an adult body. Well, yeah, he had an adult body. So he's probably he's probably a kid, just like everybody else. But yeah, I think they think should... about this. Think about this. So we see where everybody else is when they got turned to a kid. Mm -hmm. We see everybody just having to be all around together. Now, Gohan's off at school or college or wherever the hell he's at, and he gets turned to a kid. Well, he, he can't fly right now, so he just got to like, okay, I'm just going I'm just gonna cheer right here. Yeah. I, that, that, for some reason, they don't bother picking up a cell phone to call nobody. Right, you know right. so he kind of just like, what the hell is going on with me right now? He'll probably make his way to him eventually, but he might need a ride. <laughs> he might need a ride right now. Will we see Super Saiyan two, three, or maybe four? No. Which, which one? All of them or none of them? We, we're only seeing Super Saiyan. We're not getting past Super Saiyan. Okay, okay. I, I ain't tripping. You know, uh, that's that's gonna be crazy, man. Because King Deborah. Was the same uh on the same level as Cell, and they couldn't yeah. be unless there was a Super Saiyan two. Yeah. So I'm thinking that some of these foes may be as strong as Debora or stronger, mind you, or or as strong as Majin Buu or a little bit weaker. That it is stronger than Debora. So we may need to see more. Uh, you know, we may need to see more of uh, than Super Saiyan one. Maybe v Vegeta and Goku confused too. Uh, either with the Pataro or the fusing, you know what I'm saying? That's so, yeah, only, yeah. Only reason I don't, I don't think they would do. I know they're not doing a fusion dance because that would like retcon Jack Boss right. and grow it to right. right. the first time. Right now, I also don't think we would see the Pataro just because remember in in uh in in Super when they did use the Pataros. Uh, to fight uh, Zamasu, they th that was also thought like they were going to be permanently together again. Then yeah. you know what I'm saying. So, and, and if they knew they can use them and, and get separated, they they would. But mm -hmm. as far as like transformation goes, you had a good point about King the Boy. You know, but King the Boy was the strongest Cell, and Cell obviously needed Super Saiyan two to defeat him. That's why I don't think these enemies are that strong because. I definitely don't think they're on the level of Majin Buu. Definitely don't think they're on the level of Majin Buu. And that's one of the reasons I think they were like, yeah, these people are too strong. We have to we have to make them smaller and weaker so we be able to compete with them. Yeah. It's kind of one of those things where, where, where uh, 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 Shin was talking about, he was like, he's powerful, but more than anything, he's, he's tricky. Yeah. This is a, I don't think this is going to necessarily be a a test of might, 
but more of a test of skill and and uh, and like abilities. One one thing we've always seen in Dragon Ball, Goku and Vegeta, yeah, they'll beat the hell out of somebody. But one of their biggest weaknesses is like other people using certain techniques on them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Certain certain it does it's kind of like damn they, they kind of like Superman at times. But they they imper they're not impervious to magic. You know what I'm saying? Magic sometimes get them. You're right. Good point. I forgot all about that. I forgot all about that. But Y'all, uh, I'm loving the show, man. Uh, another great episode. Uh, one take is two, man. You got any final thoughts for this episode, too, bro? Oh man, I just, I, I just enjoyed it. Can't wait to see it. Only thing, only thing I wish is that Goku would have got his ass on that flying Nimbus. Yeah, that, yeah. that, that, that I, I need flying Nimbus before this damn show is over. I feel you. I feel you on that. I agree, man. I agree. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is going to wrap it up for me and One Take Big Dog's recap review for Dragon Ball Diamond Episode 2 titled Glorio. We love when the show, man. It's fire. Thank you again, Kiri Toyama. Rest in peace. Let's keep this fire burning. One Take, I know you real big on TikTok, man. What you got uh, going on over here that the people can look forward to? Oh, uh, <laughs> man, just uh, uh, TikTok. I got I got my Dragon Ball Diamond stuff. I got my Bleach stuff. Uh, right, some my hero content. It just any and everything that I think about y'all, it's gonna be there. Yeah, slide for Steve, life crazy. Any and everything I think about y'all, I'm gonna talk about it. Okay, I got that page. I also got my Diesel uh Diesel Take One page where I talk about TV shows and movies. I've been loving the Penguin. I got a little couple of updates on Agatha all along. Man, I, I, when it comes to these shows, you can't miss me, okay? You can't yeah. miss me. I'm, I'm going to watch everything. One of my favorite shows, Shrinking, is back on TV. You got to follow the YouTube because soon enough, your boy going to be back on YouTube doing YouTube videos and getting those ranked-ass videos while I'm out to be running my damn mouth because, hey, hey, that's what I enjoy doing, all right? So ready. look forward to that. All ready, y'all. Right. So when I do drop, y'all already be there. Link is in the description. Here's my main channel. You guys uh, subscribe. Show me some love as well. Here's my uh, my clips channel, my second channel. And so, yeah, guys, uh, we, we can't wait, man. We loving the show. We loving the show. But guys, again, we just want to thank you so much for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget that I'm B. Avery. That's one take. And that's just our opinion. Peace out. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>